Hello and welcome to this how-to video, where I'm going to show you how you can archive Vim backups to S3 using a native functionality, so-called Vim Cloud tier. For the purpose of this demonstration, I've installed Vim Backup on Application 9.5 Update 4 and ran a backup job for my VMware Windows VM. As you can see here, I've got 10 recovery points with two incremental backup chains each consisting from a full backup file, which is VBK, and four subsequent incrementals. Alright, they are all located in the same Vim Scaleout backup repository, and I'm quickly checking a local folder with my backup points and want you to memorize consumed space on a disk. Alright, now let's switch to backup infrastructure, where I've got a couple of simple backup repositories, all united into the same scale-out backup repository. And now here is a new feature of Update 4, an ability to add object storage. There are a few different options. S3 compatible storage, Amazon S3, Microsoft Azure Blob storage, IBM Cloud object storage. I'll just go ahead and select Amazon S3. Let me provide a friendly name for my newly added storage. Click Next. Then I'll select my credentials, uh, my AWS account. I'll select a global data center region and specify that this server is going to be a gateway server. And here comes the interesting part. Vim is discovering previously created buckets associated with my S3 account. And now I have to select a desired bucket and create a folder there. Okay, let's uh, Vim demo folder. All right. Now I'm going to limit object storage consumption to one terabyte and not going to use infrequent access storage class. I'll click next and the settings are saved. So now the good idea would be to go to my S3 management panel and to check newly created folders or in this case a set of folders. As you can see there is nothing inside so probably it's a good time to archive my backups there. Before I do that let's have a quick look at the internal structure of Scaleout Backup Repository which can now have a performance tier to store backups for frequent access and capacity tier where all their backups will be automatically moved as they age out or depending on your settings basically. And now let's switch back to the console. Okay, here is the, my scale out backup repository. I'll just go to the properties and go in to quickly check the performance tier, which is fine. I don't need any change here. All right, so the placement policy is still data locality. I don't care about it for now. And the capacity tier, I'm going to select the option to extend it to the object storage and select the object storage that I have pre created with you guys. And I'm going to enable to move backups to the object storage um, when they are older than one day. A couple of additional settings just to show you the full functionality of capacity tier. Not enabling encryption. And then I'm ready to apply. There we go. Okay, we can leave the console for a while. But I want you guys to know what will happen next. Every 4 hours Vim runs the special sober maintenance service and verifies whether backup chains satisfy validation criteria and inactive backup chain can be offloaded or not. To explain what it is, here is the diagram. Inactive or a sealed backup chain means that file units are final and they won't be modified by a later backup job. To achieve that for a forward incremental chain, you should do a new full backup file, effectively sealing the previous chain. Once the verification is done and there is a chain to be tiered, the offload job will collect the backup data from the extents and transfer the data to the object storage, according to a defined policy, leaving on-prem files dehydrated, meaning that those files will only contain metadata and it will save a lot of traffic, money and time for us and for recovery operations later. 
Okay, now we go fast forward four hours later this day and go in to see the afloat job in action. It is now running for my scale out the cup repository. It found the incremental chain that needs to be uploaded and now going to process it. For the purpose of this demonstration, I've speeded up the video so you guys can see the result. Okay. If we switch back to the backups view, you will see that I still have 10 recovery points. But 5 of them are now belonging to the same object storage. Which means that my incremental backup chain was uploaded there. Let's cancel it. And let's go to the backup folder to check the actual um, disk consumption. So you can see that it's um, twice less low as it used to be. Let me just show you, okay. And that means that I effectively archive data to a stream. All recovery operations available. I can even recover it, the virtual machine into EC2 instance. And that's the story for another video. Stay tuned. Bye bye.